please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hey now, it's your girl Shanita Nicole and welcome to Do Dream On if you're new and if you're already a dreamer, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. All right, y'all, we about to get into these chip bags for my baby girl, my one and only, my dream girl, my mini me, Madison's birthday, okay? So, y'all, my daddy was in the hospital. It's been crazy. We'll get into that later, but he's good now. Anywho, let's jump into these chip bags. So, Madison had a very, very small, safe birthday gathering that her father threw for her this year, and I wanted to make some chip bags for her, so... That's where we at, y'all. Let's jump on in. Okay, y'all. We are inside of Canva. Y'all know that's my fave. And our dimensions are eight and a half. So 8.5 by 11. So let me just show you. So from the main page of Canva or in Canva, you will go at the top right at custom size. You will go to the drop down for the dimensions of inches. You will type in 11 by width and 8.5 by height and then click create design. So that's how you get the image because this is the landscape image for this project. Her party is a unicorn theme, so we're actually going to go ahead and go to Google. I searched unicorn gradient backgrounds, and this is what I found. So I copied it, and then I just pasted it inside of Canva, and I set it as the background. You see that little um, watermark? I'm just moving that so it won't be in the screen, Okay. So this is the background. Once again, it's eight and a half by 11 inches. And then now we're going to just go ahead and see what we can find for our unicorns. What type of unicorn that we're looking for and try to design it. Madison loves unicorns. She loves rainbows. She loves pretty colors, all those different things. So I'm just trying to play around to find the rainbow that I want to use for her. Okay, so I happened to find the cutest rainbow unicorn combo. It is so cute, and this is going to be perfect for the vision that I have for my design. So I'm going to go ahead and make this about five inches. I'm going to input how I measured the paper so I can know what dimensions that everything should be and what will be the center, what will be the off centers, different things like that. And I'm going to show you that, but I got one of the elements of a square so that I can do like blocks of what the images I need to. Okay, how can I explain this? So I have the squares and I'm going to make them rectangles throughout the project so we can separate her um chip bag into threes so let me show you how i measure the paper first and then we'll come back to this so give me two seconds what i did was take a regular piece of eight and a half by 11 copy paper i folded it directly in the middle and what i'm doing is i'm going to emulate how it will go around the chip bag okay so i folded directly in the middle and then i took the sides and i folded the sides directly in the middle okay because this is how it's going to be when i wrap it around the chip bag okay so now i'm going to see what these dimensions are so for the images in canva i don't know what they should be so i went ahead and i measured the size and the size are coming up to be about 2.375 but i rounded it up to 2.4 okay so and then the middle came to be about 5.375 and i rounded it up to 5.5 so that's what i'm doing here and then i'm going back into canva so I made this rectangle 2.6 because it's going to be inside. My images will be inside of it. So I duplicated the 2.6 by 8.5. So now I have just a little bit of wiggle room. And I did this because, you know, when you fold the chip bags and then I'm going to have to glue a portion of it. So the 2.4 be about where the images will be. And then the little bit of excess will be when they're the overlap of folding the paper over the chip bag. Okay. 
All right, so that's what I'm doing. Now I'm putting this image in the center of the page, and then I'm going to find her image that I want to use. So with her image, I'm going to go to effects and I'm going to use the background remover. And yes, this is M Pro. Okay, so I am using Pro right now. And then this is going to remove the background for the photo. I'm going to place her up under the pretty little unicorn rainbow. And just I'm just measuring her, see how I'm going to, where I'm going to put her, how I'm going to design her there. Okay. So you just play around and you see what looks good. Now I did another measurement. Um, and I did, so the chip bag is going to be 8.5 in height, right? But you know, we have to crinkle the top and the bottom of the bag. So I'm going to show you how I, I measured that part as well. So now I literally just went, cause I'm going to add the words. I went into the words here and then I'm just going to put happy eighth birthday, Madison. I think these colors go really good and I like the boldness of it and like the bubble, the bubble, they're like bubble words. So I'm just going to fast forward. So I'm just playing around and when you design, you just play around with what looks good to you. Okay, so now, like I said, I wanted to make sure that when I do the crimps for the chip bag, that it'll be enough space at the top and the bottom and that it won't crimp the words. So what I'm doing is I'm taking another rectangle. So it was a square. I made it into a rectangle. And then I'm making the height 7.6 in height. And then, of course, 11 is just the whole size. I, I could have made it like 5.5, but it doesn't really matter because I have the side rectangles showing me what the sides are. Okay? So, y'all know I couldn't keep this green. Even though I love green, money green, you know what I'm saying? But we got to just stay with, with, with the, with the um, theme here. So, we got to go back to a pinkish color. Okay? So, we're going to make this one hot pink so I can know the difference between the middle of the chip bag and then the size of the chip bag. So I made it, like I said, 7.6 in height. And then now I can make sure that all of the words and all of her images and all of the things I'm putting inside will actually be within this area. So right now I am clicking and sending this to the back so that I can design on top of it. Once I'm done designing everything and where it's supposed to go, I will go ahead and delete that background. All of those little rectangles, it's a word for them. Y'all know how, I, when I'm in the middle of stuff, I always forget. But basically, they're like holders or, I don't, I don't know the words. But I'm trying to make sure that everything is correct inside of where the images will be on the chip bags. Okay? I hope that makes sense. Y'all tell me if that makes sense in the comments. I'm sorry. Like I told y'all, my dad had a stroke and I'm just finally getting to this. So it's a lot going on. So please, please, please continue to keep him in your prayers. I'm just, my brain is a little off, but got to get this stuff done. So now that I have everything in the front, how I want playing with that, I'm going to add the images from the back. I got for the back, I'm sorry. I got this Birthday Girl Nutrition Facts from Etsy. Y'all know I stay with Etsy. Um, just like I love Canva, I love Etsy. I will link the shop below or at least put the name of the shop below. If it's not a direct link, I'll put the name of the shop below. I could have made this myself, but I'm literally doing this hours before Madison's birthday party because my father having the stroke and I had to still do what I had to do for a birthday party, but yeah, y'all, it's just a lot. So what I'm doing now is getting a barcode. So I went to Google, I copied the barcode, and then I pasted it. So you can do that. You can go to Google and copy and paste it. You don't have to share and upload it, but it's up to you. Now I'm going to grab another picture. I love this picture. This is for Madison's birthday party last year when she turned seven. So I'm removing that background as well, and then I'm going to go ahead and design that I think I'm going to just speed it up because the only last thing that I did was um, put like a thank you for coming on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and speed it up for you guys. 
Okay, so I used just a simple text for the thank you for celebrating with Maddie. And now I'm deleting my guides. I know it's a better word for it. T type down in the comments what the word is. So I'm deleting my guide so now I can see how it's really going to look, okay? So now I know that everything is correctly centered. Everything is correctly um, in the right places. And now I'm going to download it and print this thing out. We got a party to go. So we need some happiness going on today. Just so you know, if anyone cares, my dad is at home recovering. So please continue to pray for him. We're praying for a speedy, full recovery. So I am so grateful. So while I'm recording this, this is days late. I'm sorry, while I'm editing this, this is days later. And he is on the road to recovery thank god yes lord thank you okay let's get back to the video just in case y'all actually really care about me out there because i love y'all and yes i went old school with the old school posters and stuff i ain't do all the new fancy stuff we went to the old school real love thing okay made by hand okay okay back to this stuff <laughs> Okay, let's get into what we use. I use the Koala Inkjet Glossy pa uh, Photo Paper. This paper is actually 30 pounds. I got it from Amazon and it's 100 pages. I like this quality because it didn't crack. It didn't crumble. It didn't mess up the colors. I'm also using this crafter's tape. It's permanent crafter's tape. I'm using this board to cut everything if I need it. I didn't even need that board actually. I thought I was going to need it only because my printer says sometimes it doesn't print borderless like it should. It's the HP, but it printed borderless. So I printed it from my phone too. Um, so and that worked out and I'm just counting out how many I need so I can put it in the printer. Um, but yeah, I'm going to, of course, leave all the links for these things down below. Wasn't 100% for the tape, the crafter's tape. So I got a glue gun as well. And this is from Amazon. I do have this crimper from Amazon. All these links are going to be down below as well. So those are what I'm using. Now everything went ahead and printed out and let's get into it. As you can see, my iPad is there. So I printed it out from my iPad. I just printed out the PNG version and it worked perfect. So, hey, sometimes you got to try things differently i didn't print it out from my computer i printed from my ipad so anywho i have the bag of chips and i'm just making sure the measurements is right this was my first time doing chip bags like i said most times not all but most times i do things for the first time on camera so i didn't wasn't sure if the measurements was gonna be right everything was literally a trial and error so we doing this together y'all and it's worked out literally perfect everything was aligned perfectly so please go back and listen to my specific dimensions i did say them so please watch the video um because look how it looks it overlaps perfectly everything turned out perfect, y'all i did that and that was you talk about stress y'all know i'm a daddy's girl but my daughter didn't, you know, understand that. And her dad, my ex-husband, you know, had something a little small, very small, safe get-together. So I had to make sure I showed up for my daughter as well. So, ooh, I was struggling, y'all. But I did it. Anywho, um, yeah. So we could get through stuff, y'all. We could get through it together. But anywho, so yeah, so here's a chip bag. And what I did was I found out later a better way to do this. Because like I said, every time is the first time. But actually, this worked out pretty good. I literally just put that crafter's tape on this way. So that I, um, because I knew that I would be just overlapping it again. So I put the crafter's tape on and it's sealed. It did not come off. It did really, really good. You just want to make sure that you're aligning the top and the bottoms of it perfect. Y'all, I, I did a good job for this to be my first time. You want to align the tops and the bottom perfectly so that it won't, um, so it can be even. So up top in the picture to picture, that's me doing it at her actual party. And I made a mistake, but I fixed it. So you can see that too. I used the crafter's tape for the part in the back. And then as you're going to see, I used the glue gun for the tops and the bottom. I had a little bit of glue. And you know, if you put glue on there, it get dirty. So that's what that was. I, now, I couldn't put the crafter's glue on the bottom once it was in this little circle thing. But so I had to end up using the glue gun. But maybe I could do it later uh, at a different time while it's all open. You know, trial and error. Well, this is me struggling, trying, <laughs> trying to do it, y'all. 
I was determined to get this done, but ah, it didn't work. So you know what I did? I went ahead and got the glue gun. I said, we're going to glue gun this on out. And that worked out really good. Um, This is the first time I used the glue gun, y'all. Y'all, y'all don't understand. I literally be figuring this stuff out as I go. So anywho, I'm going to fast forward because you see how I did it. I put the crafter's glue on the back. I put the glue gun. And of course, it's hot, so you got to be careful. On the top and the bottom of the chip bags. It all, oh, it looks so good. It all dried clear. It all came out good. So I'm going to fast forward a little bit, and then we're going to get to the crimping part. Because actually, once I did that part, it was easy peasy, baby. We was in that thing. Okay, just some tips. You want to make sure everything is lined up really, really good when you are connecting the first piece in the back. Once you use the glue gun, make sure that you're really, really careful so you don't burn yourself. Because I did get a little burn on there. Not on the video, but later on when I was doing some. It's gone now, though. Um, This crimper works so good. Look at that. It turned out so good. Y'all, I was so proud of myself, especially with everything going on and how I was able to get these things through. So just be careful. Um, Look, I did the crimper a little bit wrong. <laughs> So, yeah, I had to figure out the right way to do it. So, I'm like, you right-handed. Hold the bottom part with the right hand. Then, see, there we go. I figured it out. <laughs> okay. So, anywho. Um, yeah, so that worked out. These are actually easier than I thought. I thought they were going to be harder. They were easier than I thought, which I'm happy about. You just want to be careful with the excess glue and with the lining up. But look how the good that turned out. And I, I ended up fixing that. So don't worry about it, but I end up fixing it. Um, yeah. So that's that. So I'm gonna just fast forward real quick and I'm gonna show you all the finished products. And that's it. Easy peasy, baby. You can design it however you want to design it and everything. But yeah. Another tip, let's say that your top and your bottom is not as neat as possible. You can just cut off the things to make it look even. It's kind of like a quick fix. The If you make errors with this, you can easily fix the errors. So that's what I like about the chips. Yep, and we did that thing. And that's a wrap. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please go ahead and make sure that you reach out to me. If you want to have, if you have any questions or anything, join my Facebook group. A lot of times if you join the group, I can answer so many different things for you guys in that group. The link is down below. If you have any ideas or suggestions, please let me know. I got a couple of you guys and I'm going to do those suggestions. So thank you. Um, yeah, but I love the way this turned out. I can't wait to check out my other designs I make. I actually have some orders. Go, let me call them people back. But okay, yeah. Y'all, um, thank you for your time. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. This was Maddie at her birthday party. And y'all be safe out there. You hear? Oh, we were safe. Please know we were safe. Yes, we were safe. I love y'all. Y'all be safe out there. You hear? Bye. And remember, to the ones who still believe in dreams, chase them. Chase them until you're out of breath. Then keep running. Word to the unknown. And yes, y'all, we are still out there on our road to 10K, okay? We have 5,650. We ain't playing, y'all. I love y'all. Please continue to subscribe. I appreciate you guys so much. Keep sharing my video. I, oh, I just can't wait to see what's to come. All right, y'all. Bye.